बचपन में सिखाया जाता है ना कि कोई ऐसा काम मत करो कि बाद में पछताना पड़े हमारी लाइफ में ऐसा क्या चल रहा है जो तुम नहीं बता सकती हाई देर वेलकम बैक आई एम प्रतीक्षा मिश्रा एंड यूर लिस्निंग टू डू आई लाइक इट अ क्वीन प्रोडक्शन वे वी रिव्यू एनी थिंग एंड एवरी थिंग एंड द सन And today's episode I'm going to tell you do I like hush hush In life things happen and even if nothing's happening that's still something happening right So on this show we talk about things that happen we get an esteemed panel of highly jobless people to answer the million dollar question Do I like it In the trailer for Hush Hush Karishma Tanna's character Geeta says something on the lines of अमीर लोगों की बीटीएस देखना सबको पसंद है एंड शी इज राइट पीपल लव गॉसिप देर इज मर्डर मे बी देर इज स्कैंडल देर इज ड्रामा इट टिक्स ऑल द बॉक्सेस ऑफ लाइक से योर प्रिटी लिटिल लायर्स और बिग लिटिल लाइज और ओनली मर्डर्स इन द बिल्डिंग एस्क थ्रिलर सो डू आई लाइक इट बिफोर आई टेल यू दैट एंड आई नो दिस इज बिकमिंग अ बेट ऑफ अ पैटर्न You should know that you can check out our other episodes and other podcasts from The Quint on our website or wherever you get your podcasts from. Trust me, you'll love them. Talking about the premise, what is the premise of Hush Hush? Four besties are in trouble. One of them is Ishi, a lobbyist played by Juhi Chawla. Secondly, there's Zaira, a fashion designer. The third is Dolly. played by Kritika Kamra who is a socialite who is sick and tired of her family understandably so uska husband is a little dismissive and her mother in law wants to use a child as a fevy quick for their marriage and their family and then there is Saiba played by Soha Ali Khan who is a former journalist and is now a home runner do i like the premise yes actually everyone loves to hate ishi mostly because of her job um is she someone you should hate is she someone you should love that you'll find out once you watch the show because that's a question that the show kind of maintains till the end but there's this one party that happens and all their lives are appended ab ye jo charo dost hain they are in somehow embroiled in a crime and now they have to deal with the consequences secret secret secrets kaun kisse kya chupa raha hai kyun chupa raha hai किसका राज कैसे बाहर आएगा इज एसेंशली वॉट हश हश इज ऑल अबाउट डू आई लाइक द परफॉर्मेंसेज क्वाइट अ लॉट एक्चुअली जूही चावला और आयशा झुलका को साथ देखना इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रीट आई डेंट नो इट वॉज समथिंग आई वॉन्टेड बट नाउ दर आई हैव इट आई लव इट उन दोनों के जो एक्चुअली सीन्स हैं इन द शो फॉर्म अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इमोशनल कोर ऑफ द स्टोरी and it's mesmerizing to see them on screen together performing their scenes some of them are highlights of hush hush coming to the other performances karishma tanna as the cop also gives a wonderful performance even though unka accent thoda idhar udhar ho jata hai kabhi kabhi but that's okay it's honestly just it's not even jarring to be very honest it just comes and goes and you might be like hmm but you're not bothered by it that much cuz her performance holds her character together soha ali khan is actually probably one of the better written characters on the show in the sense that unke paas karne ke liye zyada hai she has a family that is really put into danger kritika kamra jinka character dolly actually goes through i think the most transformation on the show also does so very well you can see dolly changing as you watching the show and that is truly a testament to the kind of performer that kamra is i think shahana bose was dealt a short hand because her character starts off very strong as this ca- career oriented woman but understanding that character more would have helped on the show i feel like she has a lot of potential that was wasted by up until episode 4 i was hooked i was interested i was excited i was waiting at the edge of my seat bated breath but after that it kind of derails and i won't say that it's it's a bad show after that but i feel like the premise that they set in the first three episodes was so intense and gripping ki jab wo achanak se chhin jata hai na aap se it just feels very ki yaar i was i was watching something you know hashash is a show that is surrounded by and filled by women 
uh, it's a female led show all major characters are women the director is female aur aisa nahi lagta ki the show is a tokenistic in a sense ki aisa nahi ki just for the sake of making a female led show they have made one one major issue that i do have with the show is that there are some choppy dialogues in there and also equally choppy editing there's a scene that just cuts from wide angle to close up and mujhe laga ki i missed something i thought ki there was something in the show that i had to see i rewinded nothing happened and so i was just confused honestly i am also a little confused because the dialogues were written by juhi chaturvedi who is a national award winning writer she has written dialogues for films like gulabo sitabo and piku which are both iconic films in their own merit so i don't know what exactly happened here i think why hush hush disappointed me a little was because of how much expectations i had from it i was the target audience for this show truly i love horror thriller i love the cast i love every work that the director has done ek acche thriller ki pehchan is cheez se hoti hai ki wo apne sare jo लाइन्स हैं या लूप्स हैं या थ्रेड्स हैं उन सबको कनेक्ट कर सके एटलीस्ट इनफ टू गिव द ऑडियंस सम काइंड ऑफ रेजोल्यूशन सो वेन देर आर थ्रेड्स एंड रेड हेरिंग्स दैट गो नो वेयर एंड प्लॉट पॉइंट्स एंड कैरेक्टर्स हु कम एंड गो एंड हैव नो रियल सिग्निफिकेंस टू द शो एटलीस्ट इन दिस सीजन येस देर माइट बी मोर सीजन कज देर इज अ क्लिफ हैंगर इट जस्ट डजेंट फील लाइक अ थ्रिलर आई वॉन्ट टू वॉच अगेन आई नीड मोर answers but i ended up with more questions but not in the good the idea of setting the show in a posh locality in delhi if i'm not wrong was actually very smart and that's one of the strengths of the show i think another issue that the show might have is that it's not sure ki use kis baat ki commentary karni hai ek commentary to clear hai we're checking about patriarchy we're checking how women are treated versus men in very similar situations how there is a power dynamic no matter where you go but i'm sure there were other things that the show could have made a commentary about which just really falls flat jo actual mystery hai jo aapko pata chalegi last ke do teen episodes mein wo hai horrifying but after i watched the show i kind of sat down and thought about what exactly was upsetting was it the concept that upset me or did the show convey it well enough to incite these feelings in me aur mujhe genuinely lagta hai ki it's the first case don't get me wrong i am a fan of tell don't show i love people who tell don't show i love metaphors but something about the emotional depth in the case that we're dealing with in towards the end is missing so after all of this do i like hush hush i kind of still do i want to give the show a chance but also like i said the last few episodes kind of icked me off so if you think that you are willing to watch a few meh episodes for a truly interesting premise and a chance at a really good season 2 then you should definitely watch hush hush and that was this episode of do i like it follow us on instagram at the quint and tell us what you want us to talk about next week and check out our website thequin.com for more groundbreaking reports and videos this was pratiksha and i'll see you in the next one do i like it is a quint original podcast hosted by pratiksha mishra executive produced by shelly walia and ritu kapoor produced and edited by anjali palod written well this one by me pratiksha with theme music from bmg production You were listening to the Quinn's podcast.